Hey friends, back with another vlog post. Um, today I'm going to show you how to style and tie the neck scarf a few different ways. It's a super fun trend. I've been really into it this summer, so I thought you guys might be too. Stay tuned and I'll show you a few ways to wear it. <laughs> Alright guys, so first up is the traditional bandana knot. Uh, that is not the technical term for it, but that's what I call it because it's a bandana and I knot it. So, simple as that. First up, I just rolled it to its longest point, so corner to corner. I actually like to cut half of my bandanas off. So you're cutting off this point so it's less fabric kind of wrapped around your neck. It just makes it so it's not so bulky and just ties a little bit easier. So that is what I also did with this one. So once I have it rolled, you're just rolling it corner to corner and then you're just gonna put it around your neck and do a simple little tie. You don't want it to be too tight to your neck because you want it to kind of have that like Western feel. But it's as easy as that. Super cute, just a fun little accessory that you can pop on any of your basic tanks or blouses this summer. But it also keeps you cool, so another bonus. But all right, this next one, I'm actually going to wear it on my wrist. So this is a silkier scarf. Again, I've rolled it, so I've got it just in a nice long strap. And then I'm just going to wrap it around my wrist about two times. It's a little hard to do by yourself, obviously. But then you will just do one knot and then another knot. And it's just a cute little bracelet scarf tie. Super fun, but I just love it. It just adds a little touch of sass, not your average bracelet or bangle, so a fun way to try a silk scarf. All right, so I showed you the classic bandana knot, but now I call this one just the classic bandana. So. Basically, you will, again, you'll fold it in half. You'll roll it down a little bit so you don't have the whole triangle hanging down. You don't want that much fabric, but a little bit of the triangle is still left. And then you're just going to knot it behind your head. I'm gonna flip it to the side so I can see it better. But just do a simple little knot, flip it back around. And then you just have a cute, like how cute is that? Just a fun little bandana scarf. Perfect for like a country concert or something like that. Um, I could totally see any of you girls rocking it like this. Again, just a regular bandana um, I got from the craft store. So super simple and easy. All right, this next one is a dressier way to wear the next scarf. This one is another like silky scarf. It is a little bit bigger than most of the ones I have. And for this knot, you do need it um, a little bit longer. So again, I've rolled it so it's nice and long. And you're gonna go front to back and cross it again in the front. This is like the modern um, stewardess knot. You don't want to look too much flight, like a flight attendant, but sometimes it's okay. So, get my hair pulled out of there. But, I could see this with some black denim. Really cute. Just a fun, sassy way to wear a neck scarf. Again, this one's the silkier kind, and it does need to be a little bit longer, but for this look, I love it. Alright, so last, but certainly not least, is using the scarf in your hair. So for us short haired girls, this is what I've done. I've pulled my hair half up and then 
After using a hair tie, I knotted the scarf around one time, and it just gives your hairstyle such a cute, playful, sort of boho look. Super, super simple. If your hair is long, you could do a side braid, knot it around the end, or even just tie it around a low ponytail. That would be super chic. But I hope this has inspired you to try tying it in your hair somehow. All right, guys, I hope this taught you a thing or two about how to tie the next scarf. Um, it's a super fun, easy trend, so have fun with it. Hopefully this has inspired you to rock it the next time you're out and about. But as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time.